as quick as I've seen you move, you can. It's pretty impressive. Uh, but congratulate Brett and the football team on a great way to end their season and uh, winning the Land of the Lincoln Trophy and, and doing it in a, in, a, in a very, very impressive manner. So um, that's exciting to see what, what he's building there. Uh, <clears throat> going to the ACC Challenge, uh, always a, a tremendous event. Um, it's uh, you know, two, the, the two best basketball conferences in the country. Um, getting together and, and, uh, and, and doing something that I think is really good for basketball. I think it's one of those events that the fans like to see, uh, that uh, is, is something that uh, ESPN does a great job of, of, of televising and, <clears throat> and, uh, and pushing. And it's, it's an event that I think is great for basketball, great for the fans, and, and one that I know uh, we enjoy being a part of. So. Uh, Notre Dame is uh, <clears throat> they're coming off um, a shortened trip to Maui um, as they only had to go to Vegas to play the Maui Invitational. Uh, but uh, uh, there's a backstory behind that between Coach Bray and I as we had to come back from Maui and play at their place a few years ago uh, in what was a awful trip. Um, back and he gets a little break uh, with the abbreviated trip to, to Vegas this year uh, in the same turnaround. But uh, a veteran team, Mike does an unbelievable job. Uh, this is a team that has uh, uh, some guys back from the, from the first time we played them. And, and so uh, they have um, uh, great size. Uh, they're a team that uh, shoots the ball extremely well. If you let them catch and shoot in the spot they catch it, uh, it's probably going in. Uh, they're a team that is, uh, uh, will mix up some defenses, uh, play a variety of zones, play man primarily. Uh, they're sneaky good in, in transition. Um, and then they're a team that uh, uh, can really stretch the floor with their fours and fives, being able to shoot it. And yet I think one of the, the big changes I've seen, uh, and not studying a lot of last year's Notre Dame team, but uh, uh, this team is remarkably better uh, when they come off the bench. Uh, they play a little smaller. Uh, the freshman uh, from right there in South Bend, uh, I think had 21 in his opener, uh, is an athletic, shot-making, uh, very, very talented, uh, player uh, and, and they, Mike does a great job moving him around. He plays a lot of, of, of different positions and uh, he gives them a tremendous punch uh, off the bench. So uh, again, uh, big, big challenge for us. Uh, we'll be challenged in our defensive principles uh, in, in, in the, some of the actions that they run and uh, you know we've got to we've got to step up and pl obviously play better than we did the other night against Rio Grande Valley uh, against a veteran uh, Notre Dame team. <clears throat> okay, question. <clears throat> Brad, when you've had a lot of guys out, there's been a lot of questions about how offense can get in sync and chemistry and all that. But what about on the defensive side when you're dealing with a lot of guys out? What expectations can you set for your team on that? Yeah, same thing. Um, you know, it's we spend an enormous amount of time defensively trying to, to build chemistry. Um, most of my coaching philosophy is based around playing guys that make the fewest defensive mistakes. Um, you know, I think that's uh, that's the way you win a championship is you make fewer and fewer mistakes on the defensive side. Uh, we weren't very good the other night. We didn't play with very much passion either. Uh, we played extremely, and when I say this, extremely soft the other night. Ext I mean, as soft as any team in the history of my career has ever played on that end of the floor. We got our chest caved in. Uh, we got to solve that. We got to solve that. We were soft, and and we were not we were not very tenacious on the ball, and and obviously Trent uh, Corbello being gone. Uh, not impacted that a great, great deal, but uh, you know, and I don't want to take anything away from Rio Grande Valley, but 
Yeah, it was not uh, not one of our more impressive games, and we got to we got to get that solved.